everyone, I'm Catherine Decima Sapolin, your beer mistress, and this week we're trying this beer. It is Blonde Bee by Dubee Brewery. It's epic, just awesome. And we're gonna open this up. I'm excited to try this because this was sort of a surprise. I thought I only had the Dubee Stout left, and then I saw that I had the blonde. If you've been on my channel long enough, you know I'm not a big fan of blondes, and since going on my beer journey, I've narrowed it down to not liking pills. So I'm very excited to have Dubee, which is one of my favorite breweries, and have a blonde by them, because I'm hopeful it'll taste delicious and yummy. I don't know what's going on with this bottle, but it's really sticky on the bottom. I don't know if that's from my fridge, I hope not, or if it's from something else. Here's the bottle cap. It is just like all the others, except yellow. Here's the color. Oh wow, this is very clear. There's lots of carbonation. It's sort of an apple juice color. See, the bad thing about my camera is that it always makes the colors look so much darker. It's, it's much more brighter than what you're seeing on camera. This is very bright and orangey. Let's smell this. Oh, this doesn't smell too blonde to me. There's lots of fruity notes off of it and like a little bit of something floral. But that distinctive blonde notes, which I think is just the hops and the alcohol, I'm not getting that. I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful, guys. So, who's on set? Oh. Oh, and I'm disappointed. Oh, do be. Oh, there's like, there's so much wrong with this. Oh. Oh, do be. It's okay, though. They make a whole bunch of other delicious, great beers. And I specifically got this one because I know I, I don't like blondes. Oh, The smell does not match the taste profile. It's really weird because this beer is almost too cold and I don't understand how that can be a thing since it's the same temperature as all the other beers that I ever drink. Because I always drink my beers cold. I know that there are people out there who will say, these beers have to be drunk a certain way. I don't care. I'm at the point of my journey where my beers need to be cold. And I understand that other people like to drink their beers different ways, you know, different folks, different strokes, but you're wrong. Beer should be drinking cold. But this is too cold. It's like when I drink it, I'm getting a brain freeze. I'm not drinking it that fast. There's no floral or fruity taste and it, you can smell it. You can smell the fruity and floral notes. It just, it doesn't taste that way. It tastes salty and just, there's so much carbonation going on that I'm not really tasting anything except for a salty note. And it's just, I, I don't know. It, um, I don't like saying bad things about the beer. I, I will say it's at least drinkable. I, I should be able to finish it. I'm like going to really enjoy it. I mean, not really. It's not the worst beer I've had. I mean, the worst beer is Deleuze's beer, which should not be called a beer. It's just sadness mixed with some nothing because there's no taste. This at least has a taste. Just not a taste that I'm enjoying. That shouldn't stop you from trying beers though. Okay, this is slightly growing on me. I'm getting some bitter notes now. I like bitter notes. I forgot. <laughs> How can I forget? The best part of Dubee is the little story on the back. So let's butcher some Dutch, guys. Blonde Dubee is the stuff, madame. Die ooit ons café in handen aan. Een zoete wal met veel temperament. Die in de smaak. Veel bij... This is a hard word because there's just a G in there and why, what? Manehe or Manehe Fed. Okay, this one is more difficult to translate because it's blonde B is a something lady in the cafe is good with names. I think Nam. Or wait, no, I think Nam is with two A's. So this nom with one A probably means something else, cause Dutch likes to do that. A sweet something with a lot of temperament. 
something taste, really good, something, something. See, I understand some of it. That's how Dutch works for me. Yeah, by the way, this comes in at 8% ABV. It feels very light. I, I have an empty stomach right now. It should be hitting it. It's not, I don't feel like it's going to my head. Maybe it's just because I'm not enjoying the taste that much and I'm so concentrated on that. Though it is growing on me a tiny itty bitty little bit. You know how I was picking on the people in the beginning of the video who drink their beer warm because they're wrong? Maybe this is one of those beers that it doesn't need to be warm, but it needs to be room temperature because I think that's what the difference is now, is that it's not so cold and I'm getting more flavors from it. So it's not just that salty note, I'm getting more bitter notes and I like the bitter notes. I just don't like the salty notes and the weird nail polish, sour remover taste note. That's just why. And the funky notes. Like, why, why are these weird notes and beers? Who, who thought, oh, this tastes funky. I bet people would enjoy drinking that. Yeah, now that I'm getting more bitter notes, this is more enjoyable. I mean, I still would get it again. There are so many other beers that aren't blonde and taste delicious. Like all the other Dubi products that I've tried so far, delicious, not blonde. Oh, the finish was a lot better. That's probably because of the sediment, because this had a lot of sediment in it. That's what I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, or you know, a thumbs down. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Just interact with my videos, and then I win. I'll see you guys in the next one. Tote scenes, my apple zines. Real talk, guys. There is a mosquito in our house. I specifically leave certain spiders alive in my house to eat the stupid mosquitoes and the flies. And I don't know where my spiders have gone, but they're all dead. And now we have mosquitoes and there aren't spiders to eat them. And I don't know where the mosquito is. I just know it's alive because it's biting me.